Hi, this is Dr. Sissel. I just wanted to talk to you about the uh, second most genetically modified crop in the world. Um, this crop is probably thought upon among most Americans as being pretty healthy for you. Uh, we've been hoodwinked or tricked into thinking that. Basically what happens is they genetically modify it by putting a gene in, into um, the plant to allow it then to be resistant to a product called Roundup which is produced and made by Monsanto. So it allows the crop to be, uh, the pesticides to be sprayed on the crop. Um, all the plants and everything surrounding the crop are killed except for um, the genetically modified one, which allows for product production to go up tremendously, the cost of production to go down. Um, lots and lots of money is being made upon uh, this product, and it is what we know as soy. Um, soy is one of the worst things you can possibly put into your body. Uh, extremely, extremely harmful for us, not only for today, but for generations to come um, as it, it's going to affect genetic makeup of our um, DNA as we go forward in, in history. And so I want to implore you as much as I possibly can to avoid soy, to remove it from your diet 100%. Um, 95% of it is genetically modified. Now, I'll put a asterisk by saying that there are three types that you can eat, but they have to be fermented. And fermented soy are NATO, which is high in vitamin K2, uh, miso, and tempeh. If you want to, or you need to eat or you like it, then go ahead and eat those three things. Those are the only types you can eat, though. You cannot eat any soy, and it's tremendously prevalent in a lot of protein shakes, um, protein bars, so-called health bars. Um, extremely high in soy, obviously soy milk has uh, soy in it, and the reason I'm bringing that up is because there's goitrogens in soy, and the highest concentration of goitrogens are in soy milk, so you have got to avoid that because goitrogens um, destroy the thyroid gland, so a lot of women and men obviously that have hypothyroidism, you uh, got to remove soy out of your diet being the number one thing um, to do proactively. Uh, it's in, obviously you do not want to eat soy yogurt or soy cheese. Um, soy infant formula is terrible for the child, especially the growing infant. Um, you've got to never, ever, ever allow um, someone or yourself to feed that to your kid. Um, breastfeeding is obviously the best thing to do for the six months of, for six months of life. So you, I mean, I don't know how to tell you in a more <laughs> direct way than for you to take soy out of your diet, your family's diet, remove it out of anything that you possibly can, read ingredient labels of anything you're going to buy, um, read the box and read the ingredients, and if it says anything soy, soy oil, soybean extract, soy less uh, thin, soy isolate you've got to take it out and not ever buy that stuff don't waste your money it's just going to ruin your health it's going to ruin your body cause major problems later as you get older um, please do everything you can um, to avoid this at all costs and uh, reading green labels it's the, the number one thing you can do for yourself is become educated about what's in products you're putting in your body not that it's going to ruin you in one serving but it will over um, months and years of eating that stuff. Um, so do yourself a favor, take it out. Um, next time I post a video, it'll be probably about corn or sugar or fat and you know how you must avoid sugar and how you must be eating lots of fat. Um, it's contrary to a lot of the things you've been taught, but I'll explain it. Um, until next time, have a great day. Thanks.